Hey, BB Phoenix here. I just want to tell you a little story about when I was five years old. Imagine this. I was just about to go on to stage doing our first ever performance. I was five years old. Some of the others were a little bit older. They all had their pretty little tutus on. I was the only clown. My mum had spent a whole two weeks getting my outfit and my wig ready. The wig she made by hand from a net that carried the oranges. Half of it she'd done in green wool. The other half she'd done in orange wool. Made an amazing outfit for me. Looked the part, felt the part. So while everyone was getting everyone ready, a few of us children decided to play a little game of hide and seek. I mean, what children doesn't like playing hide and seek? Anyway, so I was hiding underneath the chairs, sitting there, waiting my time out, thinking, yes, I'm good at this. I've got this. I was hiding for so long. It was so quiet. I knew I'd won. I knew I'd won. I was the winner of hide and seek. I mean, at five years old, who wouldn't want to win that? Anyway, it was taking ages and I was thinking, God, I'm doing so well. And then all of a sudden I was thinking, why haven't they found me yet? So I thought, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sneak out and have a little look. And I opened the door. No one was around. Couldn't see anyone, couldn't hear anyone. I was starting to get a little bit panicked at this point. So I was getting upset. I'm five years old, don't know where anyone is. Thinking, yes, I'd won. But now the, the emotions were starting to change a little bit. Anyway, starting to look around, then all of a sudden across the room, I see someone opening the door. It was mum. Oh my God, mum, yes, you're back with me. Thank you. I was so scared. I was so scared. I ran into her arms. I cried my eyes out. Mummy, where have you been? And she was like, where have you been? Where have you been? You've missed your part. I was like, mummy, I've missed my part. Oh no. Oh no, what am I going to do? I was so upset. I was heartbroken. I couldn't be consoled. But anyway, I had to go out on stage with everyone else. Right at the end, take my belt crying. I was gutted. My first ever stage performance gone wrong. Now the reason I've told you this story, because I'm still trying to get on that stage. I realised through a lot of growing that I've been doing, a lot of awareness that's been happening for me, I realised that I had a lot of stage fright. I've been for many auditions. I've been for auditions on things like X Factor, The Voice. I've been for so many different auditions. Never got through one of them. And it wasn't until I started to realise that I didn't need someone else to choose me. I choose me. And that's where my fight began. That's where I started to look forward to getting out on that stage. I realise that there's people out there thinking I can't do this. But I don't care. I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. I am telling my story. I'm doing it my way. And I'm making the rules up as I go along. So, the moral of this story is, unless you want to miss your life out and go and play hide and seek, I'd... Uh, find another way of doing things of being the winner in this world so actually what you need to do is get out there take your chance and give it a go are you gonna give it a go i'm giving it a go anyway that's today's story <laughs> i've decided to challenge myself for 66 days to see if i can tell a story every day <laughs> come back tomorrow for the next part with bb felix thanks take care